Photop versus Photoshop, which one is better? It's time to end this debate once and for all. Two powerful design tools, but one is free, and the other costs as much as a decent meal subscription. So you may be wondering, which one's better for you? Well, let's break it down. First off, let's talk about what really matters here, money. Photoshop is subscription-based, that means you're paying every month or yearly, and those costs add up. Meanwhile, Photop is completely free unless you want to remove the ads for a small fee. So if you're broke or just starting out, Photop is already winning here. Okay, but what about actual tools? Photoshop is obviously the powerhouse, right? It's got every feature a professional designer could ever need. Advanced selections, 3D effects, AI powered tools, you name it. But here's the thing, Photop has like 80% of what the average user needs. You can open PSDs, work with layers, masks, and even use smart objects. But if you need heavy duty features like super advanced retouching or AI filters, Photoshop is the winner. Now here's where things get interesting. Photoshop is a beast, but if your PC is a toaster, good luck running it. Photop, it runs entirely on your browser. So no downloads, no installs, and it even works on a Chromebook. So if you're rocking an old laptop or just want something quick, Photop is definitely the way to go. Okay, but what if you get stuck, right? Photoshop has an insane amount of tutorials, courses, and forms since it's been around forever. You'll find guides on literally everything, and I mean everything. Photop, on the other hand, not as many in-depth tutorials, but it's basically Photoshop Lite. So most Photoshop guides still work on Photop. Plus there's an active Discord and subreddit where you can ask for help. But here's something cool. I have over 300 Photop tutorials on my channel. So if you want to master it, I've got you covered. Just check out my playlists. And if you want even more premium content, check out my channel membership right here. Scroll down and you'll see all of the perks that's included. There should be also a join button here as well to see the perks. Now, if you want to go the free route, join the Discord in the description below. There's resources on here, a great community, and lots of awesome things to do. So if you like a massive learning community, Photoshop has the edge, but if you're fine with a smaller community and me as your guide, Photop still holds up. One thing that can make or break your workflow is file compatibility. If you're working with a team that uses Photoshop, you'll need to make sure your files actually work across both platforms. The good news is Photop can open and edit PSD files, which is huge. You can work on a Photoshop project without actually owning Photoshop, but there's a catch. Some advanced Photoshop features like AI-based edits or certain smart filters won't work properly in Photop. Also, exporting to certain file types, especially ones used in high-end printing, is more reliable in Photoshop. So if you're working on a team project, be aware that Photop might not always keep every detail intact. But for most cases, especially for online content, it does the job surprisingly well. All right, let's talk about customization. Photoshop is known for its insane level of flexibility. You can install custom brushes, fonts, actions, scripts, and third-party plugins that add effects, automate tasks, and even bring in AI-powered tools. But what about Photop? Does it actually support plugins? Yes, it does, and that's a huge plus. You can find various add-ons and you can even install custom fonts and brushes. However, the selection is nowhere near as big as Photoshop's. So if you're the type of designer that loves tricking out your software with tons of custom tools, Photoshop is the better choice. But if you just need basic customization without all the extra fluff, Photop holds up surprisingly well. AI is taking over and Photoshop is leading the charge. If you've seen crazy tools like generative fill, AI powered selections, or automatic background removal, that's all thanks to Adobe's AI tech. It can speed up your workflow like crazy. Photop, it has some automation like quick selection tools and an AI based remove background feature, but it's nowhere near as advanced as Photoshop's AI. If you're editing photos fast and efficiently, Photoshop is the clear winner. That being said, if you don't rely on AI much, you probably won't miss it. But if you love cutting edge technology, Photoshop is way ahead here. Now let's talk about the actual price tag. Photoshop is not cheap. It's a subscription based service that costs around 20 to $60 per month depending on the plan you choose. Over a year, that adds up fast. And if you stop paying, you lose access completely. Meanwhile, Photoshop is 100% free. No subscriptions, no paywalls. You just open your browser and start designing. There is a premium version for around $5 a month that removes ads and speeds things up, but all the core features stay free. So if you're on a budget, Photop is unbeatable. But if you need Photoshop's advanced tools, that can possibly justify the cost. It's still the industry standard. All right, it's time to finally settle this debate. So who should use Photop and who should stick with Photoshop? If you're a casual designer, student, or just need quick edits, Photop is perfect. But if you're a professional graphic designer, photographer, or need industry level tools, Photoshop is still king. If you were to ask me, Photop will always be the winner. The creator has done so much on his own, and done so much for the community, that alone is a reason to choose Photop. So which one is right for you? Let me know in the comments, and if you want to see more stuff like this, or some awesome design tutorials, don't forget to subscribe. That's all I got for you guys today, I'll see you in the next one, later.